This video is about how to connect your Persona Studio 1810C to OBS. Okay, so if you've not seen the intro video I've done on this, this subject on the 1810C, you might want to check that out first. But if you're happy with that, with that and you know what you're doing, let's get on with it. So the 1810C, as I've mentioned in my previous video, has all of its inputs and all of its outputs. These output mixes cannot be collected by OBS. There isn't really any way to do it unless you route a cable from the physical output on the 1810C to your line import on a computer. That will then be an analog signal that's gone out to your audio interface and then sent back into your computer. That's not the, that's not the best way. That's not the best way to do it. Plus the, it will be a blended mix of all of the channels you send to it. You could use your, you, you are able to use the SPDIF if you've got a coaxial SPDIF in on your motherboard or on your, your computer sound card, you could, you could do it with that. But again, it's the same set of problems. It's just, it does, will at least retain it in digital. You've also got the virtual, you've got this virtual, if you set the loop back, I mean, I've, I've discussed in my previous videos about what the mix one to that mixes your microphone with your first output. So mix, uh, mix one, two, that takes your first playback device of the studio 1810C, which is main out one, two, and mixes it with your microphone and sends it back in. So you would be able to just collect, if you selected that and sent your, all your audio to main out, you'd be able to add a single audio source to OBS that was both your microphone and your system sound. Now I don't like this. I like to separate the tracks. So another option is to use the virtual. Select the virtual here that will send everything that's been sent to main out one, two into a virtual channel, which is here, which you'll be able to pick up in OBS. You'd then need to pick up your microphone, which would be here and this separately in OBS. Again, I'm not a fan of this method. Instead, I think the best way is first of all, set your main output in audio, in windows, set your main output to main out one, two on the studio 1810C. You don't for specific for OBS, you don't specifically need to have a default input device because you can pick whichever device you want. Uh, but in this case, I'm connected to XLR port three on the 1810C. So I'm choose, I've chosen mic line in three, four. Okay. And now we also want to go in here. We want to, we want to choose our music playing device to send it somewhere different. Now I have a monster cat subscription and usually when I stream, I'll play the monster cat music in Firefox and use Chrome to watch back my stream. So it keeps the, this is the way I keep the audio separate for both. So I send my Firefox audio. So any audio through Firefox goes to line out five, six on the studio 1810C. So just to put that into context for you, the system sounds come out of here, this yellow one, and the music comes out of this one. The purple one is discord. And I do that in discord by you go into here, go into your settings. And here I choose my output device to be line out three, four. So that sends it to the purple one. So there's my three channels that have been sent out to my audio interface on one, two, which is the system three, four, which is the discord and five, six, which is my music all been sent there, which I can listen to through my headphones, which come through the main output. And by pressing this AB button or the one on the front of the, of the interface, I can listen to mix three, four, and I can mix those however I like as to what sound I hear. And this, this is an important, this is an important point here. This only will only control what I hear and doesn't control what OBS hears. Okay. 
in main I can't hear my own microphones in in mix 3 4 which I get by pressing the AB button I can hear my microphone so my I've got it set so if I press that AB button I hear the same thing I, I hear without it except I hear myself talking none of that affects OBS so why am I talking about it well the important thing here is that I can if I change to increase my music volume it doesn't affect OBS if I turn the game volume up it doesn't affect OBS I'm list I'm making this these levels the levels I want to hear okay and as you can see I've also set my input device in discord as the mic so that's directly collecting my microphone off the audio interface I could um, just as a I've got VLC there that could maybe I wanted to play my music through VLC but I don't have I don't have any music in VLC uh, I, if you had the Spotify app you could um, select the Spotify app to go to line out five six instead just keeps your audio track separately which means you can record them separately okay so let's get back into OBS then which is what we're actually interested in Okay, so I've just created a new scene down here and on the new scene, all I've got is my display capture and I've got this one microphone. Okay, just to be, just to keep it simple, the two ways to set up your audio device is to do them in settings or to add them down here. So I'm just going to use the settings version now because that's the way most people do it. I actually prefer it the other way, so I'll show you that afterwards. Uh, and as you can see, I've done it. I've got my one microphone here. So first off, we go into audio. As you can see, these are all disabled at, at present. Oh, gonna, I want my outputs. Now there's only two output options here, but I've got three outputs and I want, I want the three of them. So I'm going to have to do it the other way. Really? I could do, let's find main mains at the bottom right there. Main out one, two is there. So that can be, that's our main system sound. Then uh, the discord as well is three, four. Oh, now we've run out. What are we going to do? Well, we can do our microphone. Watch out for these ADATs. Don't get confused on the microphones. You get these ADAT ones. You don't want those unless you're using an ADAT device plugged into your, into your audio interface. You want the normal ones. I'm going to just do mic one two here i'm not going to do mic three four which is the one i'm talking on because it'll it'll just cause some problems but that's it then right so what am i going to do about about that last channel well a couple of options the virtual one is one two that means if i use that virtual one two that means i can get rid of this one two up here and i can put five six there instead that's one option that's it i mean that that's that's job done you've used the virtual it's not my preferred way of doing it, but you're done. Four devices, four, all set up there. And if I click apply, they all appear. And all of these will be in all of these scenes. So when you click around in different ones, all of your audio is already set up. You don't need to do it on a per scene basis. I prefer to do it on a per scene basis because that means like my starting scene, I could just not have my microphone on. I don't have to worry about muting it and I'm muting it. It's just not there, but my music is there. So, um, right now we're, now we've got this done. I'm just going to show you, you can rename these because, uh, this is not exactly very intuitive desktop audio. Well, that's our desktop audio is actually our music, isn't it? Remember, cause that was five, six. So that's our music. I can rename that. Desktop to rename that's our Discord, and that's my AT twenty thirty five, not the one I'm talking on. It's my other microphone, and this one is the virtual one, which is the system. Great. Okay. That's, that's, so now that's, that's nice and that's nice and organized for us. So just to, just to go over what we did there, we collected in OBS. We didn't collect that one. We did start with, but then we changed it. We collected this one and this one as playback devices. 
Remember, because they're playback devices, the volume isn't being controlled by them. This is our def default. This is our default audio in Windows, which goes out and then comes back in on this virtual one too, which is this one that we, we connected. And then we also got mic one, two as well. And mic three, four is already connected, but that's connected as a device here, which I'll show you how to do now. Oh, another quick tip here. I like this vertical layout. If you unhide that, you get this bloody awful thing, which everyone else seems to like, but not me. Uh, I just find it annoying because it's like you have to scroll down for things. Uh, you can, it does give you some more real estate because you can do that where if you put the vertical layout, that's, that's as small as it goes. Okay, then um, let's do it the other way then. So let's go back up into audio and turn all these to disabled. Right. So now audio output capture. I've already set them up on my system, so I'll just re-add them. So that's your system. For the last one, I'm going to, I'll create a new one just to show you. You're probably familiar with it, but you get to choose the device. In this particular case, we want 5.6 for the music, which is that one. Uh, and then I can rename it. As you notice, when I, when I renamed them previously, and they, these were already set up, I put this DA, that's DAW. It's not really DAW, but what I've done is put them as one, two, and three, four. So I know what, what device they are. And if they ever come loose, if they ever disconnect. So if, if you open, if you open OBS with your audio interface turned off, sometimes it then forgets the device and you have to go in and reconnect to them. Um, and if I've called that system one, two, and I go back in here, I know it's main one, two. So it's my own, it's my own sort of double checker for it really. Um, so maybe you want to do something along the same lines. Um, I just need to add that micro other microphone just to show you how to do it. Audio input capture. I could, I've already got it set up, so I could actually pick it there, but I'm not going to, I'm going to do it the other way to show you how to do it. Uh, again, watch out for these ADATs. Uh, we want mic line one, two, it's there. I need to rename it. Um, uh, 80, 20, 35, I'll test just in case it does. There you go. And there we are, they're all there then. So just going to, I'm just going to remove that second microphone because I don't really need it in here. And I'm going to remove that music one and add my normal one in. So there we are, that's my, that's how I've normally got it set up anyway. So I've got my four, my four audio tracks that I want there. Now a few extra bits and bobs. Let's just, I'll just get the filters out of the way first. You can apply, you go into filters here. So I've got this bunch of filters set, set up already. Uh, that refer one there, that's a, that's actually a, a VXD plugin. I was using it on a, on a video, but I started having some trouble with it. So I've, I've stopped using it, which is why it's uh, unchecked. You'll probably want a noise gate. Most people don't use an expander. Most people will want a compressor. Uh, I'm, and I'll probably do separate videos on these uh, at uh, some point in the future. Uh, I won't go any, any further on that in this video. Um, we'll just have a look in this advanced audio properties, because this, this, this bit is quite important. So here's my four devices. As you can see, I've monoed the SM58. Now, if you've seen my voice meter setup, I didn't mention mono in that here because it's not, it's not that important when you're, if you're using voice meter because you can mono it in voice meter. However, you can't mono it in this setup in voice meter because there is, this is the only chance you get. This is the first chance you get to mono it is in recording. It. And it, the thing is, if you don't click that, it will record on one side only on the left in this case. So what you can see here, these are different tracks. Now 
something I want you to look at is here on your output. See, this is your stream output. You can only choose one track for your stream. I choose track six. You could choose track one or, uh, and have the rest separate there, or I choose the last one. It's just the way I've set it up. There's no, re there's no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. However, on recording, um, they're all grayed out now because I'm currently recording, by the way, you can select all of the tracks that you want. And that's, that's, that's an important distinction because on streaming, all the channels have to be blended together and sent out on recording. You can record them all separately. And as long as you're using MKV here, you will record separate tracks. Some of the other things might also support multi-track, but MKV is the, uh, is the, the best one to use, I think. Um, right. So because we want everything to go to the stream, we click, click six on all of them. We want six, all of them to go to six. The rest of these, it doesn't matter which one you pick, but you, I want them separate. So they're all on separate channels. So the system is on number one, the microphone is on number two, the discord is on number four, and the music is on number five. They could be one to four, or it could be one to four that way. It doesn't, it doesn't really, it doesn't actually make any difference. So when I edit this video later, what I will find in there is there will be six channels because it's recorded all six channels, there will be six channels. One of them is that isn't, there's nothing on it. So uh, uh, that one will be blank and there will be the sixth channel, which will have everything on it. And then there will be four other channels with separate things. And that means I can take them out. So for example, I can record a stream of myself where I was playing music on the stream, but then I don't want that track for the video. I want to, take that out completely so I can do that. If I'd have bunged them all through one channel, I wouldn't be able to separate them. Um, you might want to boost the game sound, but you want to turn down the voice sound, or you want to reduce the game sound further, or you you sound really quiet. Or, so you might, whatever it is you're doing, you can, you can change all of the separate audio tracks. So this system, this way I've done it, you've picked up all of the, all of the audio tracks before they've gone to the audio interface. So there shouldn't be any latency problems. The microphone is coming in directly off, off there and you're recording all four channels separately. Uh, whether you do it in there or you do it here, I, like I say, I prefer to do it here, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it for connecting your studio 1810C to OBS. It's, it's really quite easy. It's arguably easier than doing it in voice meter. Uh, and just picking back up on a point I made earlier, this here controls what I hear. And this here, these, these sliders here control what the stream hears. Anything you do here doesn't affect what you hear. And anything you do here doesn't affect what the stream hears. So you've got two separate audio controls and they're completely independent of each other. And I think, I think that's quite useful. Okay. Well, I hope this, you found this video useful as always, uh, leave a comment or ask a question below and, uh, don't forget to follow the channel to keep up with my future videos. Uh, please consider following my Twitch channel or following me on Twitter. Also got a Patreon uh, where you get a few access to a few outtakes, cutscenes, and the odd candid video. So check that out if that's of any interest. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.